Hey guys, Gun Guy Mexicano here, and uh, today I wanted to make a video on this uh, AKM, this Russian AKM uh, type variant. This is a Saiga, and this is uh, made in the Russian Izmos Arsenal factory plant, what have you. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is probably one of my favorite firearms. I know I've said that before, but it, it's just a really nice looking uh, AK. 47. Uh, I like the furniture that's on it. This really dark, rich, uh, Russian type, you know, Russian looking furniture. And, uh, you know, I fell in love with it when I first saw it, maybe a few years back when I bought it. Um, I saw it in uh, Atlantic Firearms and it's still, they still sell it now. It's just, you know, it's probably out of stock right now. But when I first saw it, I knew that's exactly the, the AKM that I, that I wanted. I've always wanted like a classic old school looking Russian AK. And this fit the bill. Um, there's just a few things that I bought for it. I mean, it came with this uh, 30 round surplus mag uh, from Atlantic Farms, and it's fine. It works good. Um, I think he, really the only uh, the only things that I've added to it are just you know interchangeable parts or types of things like magazine slings. Really, that's pretty much it. I bought this uh, nice uh, bayonet, and I don't know if you guys could see. I think it's on the other side. Yeah. It's also, uh, it's got these Izmosh markings there, you get a little focus. And uh, yeah, it's a nice uh, Bakelite, it's got a nice Bakelite handle here and Bakelite sheath. And I think it looks pretty cool, when it's on the rifle it looks even better. Uh, when I show it to you know friends or family, they want to check it out, I'll put it on there and they usually get a kick out of that. At one point I had maybe six or seven bayonets, I would just you know, collect them because I thought they were cool and I ended up trading them uh, at a gun show. For magazines <laughs> and I started you know buying them uh, again I got a couple right now here so you guys could check them out and uh, here's another Russian mag this one's actually unused this is a surplus but it's a uh, it's new stock I guess you could call it new old stock and it's just unused as you can see there compared to the other one and uh, I have another uh, AK-47 it's more modern and um, it's got all the you know polymer type furniture and a little bit lighter and I use these Tapco type magazines uh, there's mixed reviews of them out there in my personal opinion they work fine and my you know personal use they worked okay um, I don't use these mags in this in this AK not that they don't fit or anything I just I've never used them in this AK 47 but they work fine in my other AK and here's just the uh, kind of craziness these are 40 round mag and I'll have them uh, held together so basically 80 rounds here with this uh, mag clamps Still it's kind of heavy though. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's just you know something cool uh, Just to have I guess and uh, Well, there you guys have it. Let me show it to you guys up close <clears throat> You see here that's that really nice Russian uh, red wood type furniture this is the mag I have in right on it right now. This is a Bakelite mag. It's also got the little Ishmash. Oh, maybe you could see it there. Or I think it's on this side. Yeah. <clears throat> the Russian markings. I know that there's a you know mixed feelings about the that they raised those that lettering with that white paint. I think it looks cool. It gives it a cool looking, you know, effect to the, just the bare black, you know, receiver. This has a Tapco slant brake there. It also uses the Tapco G2 trigger. There you go. Rear sight. And of course, I mean, these, uh, these are really our quality inspect. They don't have the crazy, you know, Wasser type slanted or canted uh, sights. These came spot on from the factory. We flip it around. <clears throat> there you go. It is made in Russia by Izmosh. Russian markings that I was talking about. Um, this one came with uh, the cleaning rod. I know that some some don't, some AKMs don't. There's a pistol grip, a little metal butt plate on the on the butt stock. There's that sling I was talking about. It's like a navy blue type of a sling, and it's got some Russian markings there. 
But yeah, here you guys uh, have it. And uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about this uh, AK-47. Um, I'd like to make uh, another video probably, if not the next video, uh, you know, a few down the road on a more modern, a more tactical type of AKM. And uh, it's also a Saiga. It's just a little more, you know, dressed up <laughs> with tactical parts. And uh, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think on, on the comment section down below. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.